back here in, in the studio, we do want to continue to follow Milton because we know this is going to be a historic storm in a number of ways. I mean, Scott, you've been tracking it for yeah. a number of days. It started out a category two, quickly grew to a category now five. Yeah. I mean, and this is a category five, too. Yeah, so. it's been up and down. You know, it was four yesterday, back to a five, mm -hmm. feeding off those really warm waters. It's about 83 to 85 degrees sea surface temperatures, and wow. that's that moisture that goes up into the storm and definitely feeds that storm even more to strengthen. Yeah, it is a scary situation. We know there's been evacuations underway. More than a dozen counties in western Florida under mandatory evacuation orders this morning as state officials warned that this hurricane could be a once in a century powerful storm. Now, the National Weather Service also says the storm, which is set to hit sometime tonight or early Thursday, could be destructive. And we know that Milton will be historic with at least a 10 foot storm surge, life threatening winds, and catastrophic flash flooding. So, CBS News, uh, Nicole Valdez is in Fort Myers, Florida, with more on how residents are really preparing for their second major hurricane in two weeks. Nicole, good morning. Good morning to you. Well, parts of Fort Myers really is not going to be a safe place for many. It's why we've seen a majority of people evacuate days ahead of this storm. We expect to start to see potentially some of those outer bands within the next few hours here. But downtown Fort Myers has seen its share of storm surge. They know how bad it can get and business owners not wanting to take a chance this time around. You'll see several layers of protection outside certain businesses here. Everything from plastic wrap to sandbags to boarded up windows, even large tubes filled with water to essentially try to divert as much of that storm surge as possible. It's not a matter of if we'll see it, it's just how bad will it be. Sirens and police ride throughs. Urging residents on Florida's west coast to evacuate with monster Hurricane Milton set to make landfall in a few hours. We were going to stay, but I don't want to take the chance. A steady stream of traffic moving inland has brought highways to a crawl, while areas like Treasure Island, already hit hard by Hurricane Helene almost two weeks ago, look like a ghost town Tuesday. <laughs> Tom Potter and his family had barely begun the cleanup after Helene. Now they're bracing for Milton. Thank you that this storm could be the one that actually takes it all away. It's pretty scary. Meanwhile, it's a race against time to clear the piles of debris left behind by Helene, with the governor ordering landfills to stay open overnight. <laughs> Fort Myers businesses are boarded up and sandbags piled on in preparation for the storm. Still, some residents say they plan to stick it out. I'm in high rise downtown, so I feel pretty comfortable where I'm at. I got plenty of food and supplies. A traveler filmed this empty terminal before she departed Tampa's International Airport, now one of several in Florida, to suspend operations as Milton approaches. Now, several of those communities with those evacuation orders also now have a curfew in place. Unfortunately, officials say for those who choose to ignore those and stay behind, help will not come until the storm passes. Guys. Yeah, I mean, it's just a scary situation. And to think that this area is so storm weary from right. the earlier hurricane. I mean, man. Yeah. Uh, Nicole, thank you so much. Please stay safe out there.